Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're going to be taking a look at this monster. This is the Gator Progo Dual Electric Guitar Case. I personally think that this is a great option for every gigging musician. Um, there are very rarely occasions where I think you should be taking one guitar to a gig. Um, it's, you know, it's always those gigs from, in my experience, when I've taken one guitar, it's always those gigs where I break a string. You know, and it's always those gigs where you wish you had a spare. And this kind of solves that problem without giving you any extra luggage to take. Yes, I admit it's a big old beast. This is empty and it's still reasonably heavy, but to me, that kind of gives me confidence that it's gonna protect my guitars well. The main story about this thing is the, obviously, the spaces for guitars. Um, here it is inside, super soft and plush. We have a neck brace thing that you can move about depending on your guitar. Also a kind of a bass thing for um, just so it doesn't get knocked on the bottom. Headstock's nicely protected as well. And then this is exactly the same repeated on the back side of the, of the case. So those are the kind of two main stories of this case. Obviously we have the same on the other side. It's exactly the same. But what I love about this case is the amount of kind of pockets, zip up things. So in the bottom here, the main pocket, we have a massive, massive pocket. So here we have kind of ties for cables, which is really useful. We have a, a big um, kind of flat thing for either your laptop or kind of your lyric book or something. We also have a space for your iPad because that's really useful because I use my iPad when I'm playing gigs for kind of function gigs. I have all the songs on there. That's a great little dedicated pocket for your iPad or other tablet. Uh, then we also have two smaller pockets here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, great for little things like I always take a string wind or a multi-tool sing or spare strings. That's the main big pocket there. We also have here a little pocket here. I either put my microphone in there or a spare set of strings. A little pocket here. This is where I personally put my uh, whammy, whammy bar tremolo arm for my music man. That goes in there because I don't really want to put the guitar in the case with the whammy bar already on. Um, that goes in there and then up here is another uh, little pocket here. Again, I put spare set of strings in there or um, my microphone. And then finally on the back we also have a little raincoat for this thing because this, the actual case itself is probably only shower proof but if it gets really, if you get caught out in some rain we have a really cool little raincoat coogly that goes on like this and it's a great addition to the case. Super high quality uh, straps, these are attached by carabiners so they're not going to wear out. Um, really high quality, it feels great when you sling it on your back. Um, again high quality here. One of my favourite things about this case that it, is that it stands up on its own. Even with it fully packed, two guitars in, the front pocket's full this thing stands up on its own, which is great when you're in small rehearsal spaces, um, you can just leave it standing and you know it's gonna be fine. I will admit that this is, I've already said in the video, but this is heavy without anything in it. So once two, guita two guitars are in it, say you've got two Les Pauls, it is gonna weigh some, um, it's not gonna be light. And say you've got all your cables and things in here as well, it's gonna be heavy. Um, once you get it on your back, these are nicely padded though. And for me personally, it's much easier having one big trip, say this is your, both your guitars, and be able to sling it on your back, maybe your amp head in one hand, pedal it board in the other. That kind of works better for me than doing multiple trips with multiple guitars. There are options in the range of cases as well. You can get a version of this where it's one electric and one acoustic guitar, which personally I think is a great option for you guys maybe doing function wedding gigs. Um, you need to play a couple of guitars, a couple of songs on electric, then you switch over to an acoustic number. That's a great option too. Um, of course they also do single guitar versions, but I personally would recommend the dual guitar if you are a professional gigging musician. So the reason why I personally chose the Gator over its competitors is it's about half the price of most of its other competitors. And as far as I can tell, it's super well padded. I feel confident putting my expensive guitars in here. Um, it's got super 
hard bottom, hard sides as well to be fair, you know, that's not going in at all, it's kind of a soft hard case, I feel super confident using this with guitars and stuff, so yeah, I'd really recommend it, uh, this is obviously, like I said, it's a big old beastie, um, but I really think it's worth it, I've used it, I haven't used it for a gig, but I have used it for rehearsals, um, and it was great, just because small rehearsal rooms, you just prop it up in the corner of the room, and you've got everything, your whole rig almost in one, not your whole rig, but you've got all your cables in here, two guitars, and it's not taking up any room really once it's in rehearsal room. Because I find with hard cases, they're so big and bulky, and they often don't stand up on their own either, is that where are you going to put it when you're in those small rehearsal rooms, or even at gigs, where are you going to put it that it's not like climbing up the background of the stage or whatever? So yeah, that's my personal opinion on the Gator, cases pro go dual guitar case a very positive review i guess anyway cheers guys thanks for checking out the video please subscribe and i shall see you in the next one cheers